when I was a little boy, starting my musical education in a specialized music school in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. I was, remember, I was eight. They brought us uh, in the beginning of the academic year, and the director of the school and administration would give speeches, and we would just wait, and then this beautiful music would sound. And it was, as I learned later, it was uh, Tchaikovsky Concerto Number no. 1, played by Van Claveren. The school maintained that tradition for years. In the meantime, Stanislav Udenich came to America for the 1997 Van Cliburn Piano Competition. But during the semifinals, because he suffered a burn practice. on his hand and uh, had to withdraw. This Among so those hard. who offered support was, so was Van Cliburn yes. himself. He was a person of love. He would radiate love. And of course, you know, it was very comforting, you know, to sit with him, and so he would give you the entire support. Four years later, his injury behind him, Iu Denich grabbed the gold medal and the opportunity to begin spending time with a gracious host known for his love of late night hours. It was great just to go to eat with him at 8 o'clock p.m., uh, talk a lot, and that was almost like a breakfast for him. And then every, everything starts, uh, so we would go to his home and uh, uh, more conversations, playing. Free-flowing conversations about music and the business of it that often spilled into the wee hours. Discussions that in some ways helped launch the International Center for Music, housed in the chapel at Park University since 2003. I uh, found another faculty who shared the ideas which I have, and we started to search for great talent and uh, the, the, the concentration of this program are uh, strictly in performance. So we accept people who are ready to pursue the career of performing artists. Premier talent like Bezad Abduremov. Also a native of Uzbekistan, Bezad began his ICM studies at age 16. By 18, he'd won the London International Piano Competition. Shortly after, he and his mentor headed for Fort Worth to visit Van Cliburn at his home. They've met and they all played for him and the band was very much impressed. It was absolutely spontaneous. I, I, would, I, would, I would never think that I would come to this place and he would ask me to play for him. <laughs> when Bezos stopped, he started to kind of give him some suggestions and uh, started to get into that. Oh, repeat this. No, I think this phrase is not. Yeah, and so he started to sing and help him to connect uh, and see the big picture of what he was doing. I was so honored to get a chance to meet uh, with one clever and talk to him and spend several hours with him. <laughs> and I was observing from, from distance and uh, just trying to remember from, for forever. Though Clyburn had spoken of coming to Kansas City to see the center in action, that never came to pass. But Stas has little doubt his friend would have approved of what he saw. That's much better. I was happy to learn that a lot of what we do here coincides with his vision of what education should be. Imagine the water going. We don't care about numbers. We care about quality. Van was truly a citizen of the planet, whose music transcended political and cultural boundaries. Knowing him personally was the greatest blessing of my life. <laughs>